But tonight, TV comes into the Abu Hirab story anyway as part of a theory proposed by several political scientists and communication specialists here in the U.S. It puts some of the blame for the degradation, some, and the humiliation of Iraqi prisoners on modern American culture. The theory, in part, is that the act of popular public humiliation seen in the reality TV shows like Jackass and Fear Factor is entertaining, and because it's entertaining, that on some level, it becomes acceptable. And as in Jonathan Nichols Pethick, the communications instructor at DePaul University points out, that level of acceptance helps to create an environment where humiliation can be seen as rewarding and without consequence. He joins us now from Terre Haute, Indiana. Mr. Nichols Pethick, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you. How much of a line do you see between the general coarsening of television and something like the culture that sprung up in the prison itself? Well, I don't think we can talk about direct influence, per se, um, in, in terms of making a direct line. But I think we can talk about the fact that, say, reality television, which we often associate with this coarsening of television, is part of a larger media environment that capitalizes on the uh, routine documentation of, of all sorts of behaviors from humiliation, uh, from, from and, and, you know, in terms of scandalous behavior and even tragic behavior. And I think that um, reality TV is, is one, one part of this environment and it affords us a range of pleasures from, you know, the voyeuristic pleasure of seeing pe people humiliated um, and uh, um, put in frightening situations. The voyeuristic element of this, if there's anything really new about, about torture, abuse, humiliation of prisoners, it's the fact here that we have photographs of it, not merely photographs, but that we have photographs of the participants standing uh, laughingly and sometimes seemingly proudly next to the victims. Is there something, is there some kind of connection between that smiling and the desensitizing of the public. And what I guess I'm asking is, there, is that the explanation for why anybody would be stupid enough to pose for photographs that would then be used as evidence against them? Well, I think this comes out in uh, Lindy England's uh, statements that were made on the 5th of May, where she talks about a couple things. She talks about the fact that it was just fun, and they were having fun, and pictures were taken. Um, she talks about fooling around. Um, she talks about also not going to extremes. And I think if there is a connection to be made, it's this idea that this situation was somehow uh, a controlled situation, that they didn't feel that they were going to extremes in this behavior, even though we can see plainly that they were. Um, and so in terms of uh, you know, their, their attitudes about the, their behavior, I think it really is just a matter of not seeing the consequences because uh, this was just seen as fun behavior. And I think we can, again, not draw a direct line, but certainly it's part of the environment. 75% or so in the polls uh, reacting to this with some degree of, of uh, discomfort in this country, some degree of, of uh, shame perhaps, but that means there's a quarter who, who didn't feel that. Uh, do, do, does their response to this to some way connect to, to the culture, to the pop culture? Well, I think so. I think, you know, there's always going to be people who, who take some pleasure in other people's pain. Um, I'm actually quite encouraged by the fact that 75% of the people are outraged by this. I think this actually demonstrates that there is a lack of, of control in these images. And if, if the Bush administration has been trying to control this war from the outset through, through positive images, this is an indication that um, they're not in total control of this, and I'm, I'm proud that people are outraged by this, and, um, and, and, and it tells me that we aren't desensitized to the extent that we fear that we, we might be. Jonathan Nichols Pethick, instructor of communications at DePaul University, and we appreciate your time tonight, sir. Thank you very much.